it's me, Morgan Lee, and welcome to my Brooklyn kitchen. In this series, we're making my favorite recipes and we're making them vegan. Today, I'm teaching you how to make fish without fish. So this is celeriac or celery root and we're gonna boil it with some kombu and that combination is gonna give this like kind of soft and flaky texture from the celery root and this is gonna give that seaside flavor and that's gonna give you a nice little piece of fish. And the reason we're making fish is because I'm about to show you how to do vegan fish and chips. Our water with our kombu is almost up to a boil and that's the perfect time to finish up with our last slices of these and I think that is going to be enough. I'm going to take the largest pieces and these are going to be my little fillets and then these smaller end pieces and this piece I'm going to save later and I'm probably going to make a soup or something like that. And here we have our beautiful celeriac pieces just fork tender, beautifully tender. Um, and I'm gonna sneak a little taste. Perfectly fork tender, just like a piece of fish. See how it has that kind of slightly flaky thing going on for it because of the fibers of the, of the vegetable. So it kind of cuts like a piece of fish. Anyway. Hmm. Really good. Really, really light in flavor. So it's like, would be comparable to a really light white fish. Keep watching this series because I'm going to turn these pieces of celery root into a beautiful beer battered fish and chips next episode we're doing chips so that's always fun and try this out you guys and also remember keep it fresh thanks so much for watching till the end i hope you learned some new techniques i've started putting the ingredients lists in the description box below I love any feedback, so please don't hesitate to comment. And if you like what I'm up to here at Miss Produce, then please subscribe to my channel. Thanks again, you guys.